Dear viewers, welcome to Turkish TV Interviews. Turkish TV plans to interview academics and politicians every week to get their input on current events and the latest developments in Turkey and around the Middle East. Our guest this week is Professor Sadat Lechiner, an academic, a columnist, and author. Professor Sadat Lechiner is a specialist on Middle East and international relations with a focus on Turkish foreign policy. He has also served as a rector of Çanakkale on Mart University. Uh, Professor Lachiner, uh, ISIL's presence on the Turkish border is worrying. How airtight is the land border between Turkey and Syria? Can ISIL terrorists cross into and out of Turkey with ease? Uh, in my opinion, ISIS or ISIL uh, is one of the most dangerous terrorist organizations and uh, one of the most dangerous uh, uh, ideological movements in Islamic uh, world. It uh, threatens Turkey's way of life and uh, Islamic understanding, uh, so-called Turkish Islam, a module. Uh, I mean, the, in the recent years, many countries so. Turkish Islamic understanding as the module for the rest of the Muslim countries. And the ISIS understanding is definitely uh, just the opposite of Turkish understanding of Islam. Uh, so here we, uh, we see uh, two challenges to Turkish security and uh, security and order and uh, to Turkish Islamic understanding, religi religious understanding. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the Turkish uh, government and uh, President Erdogan, I think, uh, underestimated ISIS uh, threat. And uh, according to the Turkish government's estimation, uh, in Syria, uh, the first and most important threat to Turkish interests is the Assad regime. Uh, I mean the Syria's uh, state. And the second threat to Turkish security, uh, according to Turkish government, of course, uh, is the possibility of a, a Kurdish state. I mean the uh, Kurdish militants uh, in the northern uh, Syria. Maybe in third line ISIS uh, comes as threat. Uh, so Turkey give, ge, uh, has given uh, importance to the first two threats instead of ISIS. Uh, in the western side, of course, the situation uh, estimation is so different than the Turkey's. Turkey's uh, security, regional security perception is completely different than the Western uh, calculations. I mean, for the United States and uh, some Western European countries, uh, Assad regime is not the uh, only and the most important threat to the Western interests. Uh, but ISIS threat. Uh, so there is a big gap between Turkey's uh, perception and the Western perception. There is a big gap and it is really difficult to fill uh, these uh, differences. Turkey uh, has bombarded uh, ISIS uh, region in the uh, near to Turkish border. Uh, but most of the efforts uh, have given to the PKK targets instead of ISIS. Uh, there is an agreement between Turkey and the United States uh, about all these issues, but we have no details. The uh, Turkish government says uh, this is a secret agreement and uh, cannot be uh, shared with the uh, people and the other parties. Uh, it is another strange thing, I think, because after the election, uh, the new government could not be established. Uh, I mean, the, in two months, and the, uh, <coughs> this government 
uh, inked a very important uh, agreement with the United States uh, about a uh, military uh, air base in Jilik, Adana military air base. United States, uh, I mean, they, I think in the last uh, two or three years, uh, insisted to use Minjilik air base against the ISIS uh, targets in Syria. But Turkey uh, rejected, strongly rejected all these demands. But in very short time, Turkish government has shifted from uh, that position, uh, just the opposite position. Uh, what happened? I mean, the, what's the reason uh, for this uh, radical change? It is really uh, a difficult question uh, to answer. Uh, I think uh, we should look at the Turkish domestic politics too to understand Turkey's foreign policy shift uh, about the, I mean, the agreement with the United States and the ISIS uh, policies. Inside, uh, Inside, after the election, uh, AK Parti uh, could not, uh, cannot uh, establish a one-party government. Needs other parties' uh, coalition, and a coalition uh, means uh, in Turkey uh, a direct threat to Erdogan's uh, presidential system ideas. And uh, with this security uh, policy change, all the agenda in Turkey uh, has been changed. I mean, nobody in Turkey now uh, talk about coalition or the corruption uh, issues about Erdogan and families and the uh, AK Party government. Uh, I mean, the, the security issues help to change all the agenda in Turkey. Uh, and inside there was a pressure on Erdogan. Uh, in Cumhuriyet uh, daily newspaper, uh, uh, I mean the Cumhuriyet uh, published some uh, photographs uh, which shows uh, Turkish security intelligence agencies, uh, trucks which carries uh, missiles and uh, other uh, weapons uh, to Syria, and uh, nobody knows. I mean, the, who, who who took all this stuff in Syria? ISIS, uh, Free Syria Army, or uh, Al Nusra? Nobody knows that. And the uh, strong pressure uh, pressure on Erdogan government uh, appeared in Turkey inside. And outside, the uh, United States and the European Commission uh, strongly uh, criticized Turkey. Uh, and the, for example, uh, Obama, President Obama, uh, argued that Turkey did not uh, make all the efforts needed against uh, ISIS. And the European Commission report uh, argued that uh, Turkey ignored uh, all uh, ISIS militant tra uh, uh, transit passage uh, tr through the Turkish border. And uh, uh, we understood that uh, last month uh, uh, this circle will be uh, continued to uh, narrowing around uh, Erdogan and the Turkish government. And this uh, initiative came, uh, and the Turkey's uh, policy uh, in Kurdish issue and ISIS uh, problem uh, has been completely changed, and everybody is shocked in Turkey and the outside. Uh, nobody could understand what happened and the why Turkey, in very short time, uh, changed its policy uh, radically. Uh, 180 degree. I mean, the completely a different uh, s s uh, way. Uh, in last uh, 10 days, uh, Turkey uh, bombed the PKK targets uh, more than ISIS targets. Uh, only a couple of uh, targets, I think, uh, were hit by the Turkish jets, ISIS targets. 
a near Turkish border, and the Turkish uh, F-16s did not pass through the Syrian border. But the, from the Turkish side, uh, they uh, attacked the ISIS targets, and it was a warning, I think, to the ISIS not too uh, close to Turkish borders. But before that event, uh, ISIS uh, used uh, freely Turkish uh, border and the uh, <coughs> Turkish hospitals and the other Turkish facilities. Uh, we understand that there was no restriction for such uh, things. But now uh, Turkey says uh, uh, it does not want ISIS near the border. But we should note that uh, Turkey does not want uh, Kurds on Turkish borders too. That's a problem. And the Turkish president Erdogan sees no difference between uh, Kurdish militants and the ISIS militants. Uh, as a matter of fact, a Turkish newspaper very close to President Erdogan uh, wrote uh, uh, that ISIS is better than uh, PKK better than Kurdish militants in Syria. So Turkey's, uh, I think, idea, uh, perception about the uh, Kurds, Syrian Kurds, uh, has not been changed. Uh, it's there. Uh, but uh, Turkey uh, needed to make an agreement with the United States, because the United States is a strong actor in Syria. And the, uh, uh, it supports the Kurdish militants, maybe a possible Kurdish state in uh, Syrian uh, northern territories. Uh, and the Turkey uh, had to make an agreement between uh, Turkish and the United States interests. Uh, I mean, the, uh, that, that's the main reason, I think. As I said, uh, Turkey bombed very limited targets in Syria. Mm -hmm. I mean, ISIS targets, very limited. And uh, after the uh, two days, uh, we have not seen any other uh, bombardment uh, against the ISIS targets in Syria. So, uh, if Turkey, uh, if Turkey bomb bombs. Uh, the corridor between Kobani and the Afrin, uh, uh, there is no big problem, I think, because it is the Turkish border site. And the ISIS, I'm sure that uh, will withdraw its forces uh, a little bit inside uh, that corridor. But if Turkey joins uh, the larger uh, uh, campaign against ISIS, it changed a lot in the region, and the Turkey, I think, uh, becomes uh, a direct target for the ISIS uh, attacks. And the, we do not know the effects of the Angelic Air Base Agreement, mm -hmm. because uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow, uh, United States and other coalition forces will use Turkish military bases against ISIS. And the, it means that all the jets, you know, will uh, will uh, use uh, Turkish territories to destroy uh, Islamic State terrorist organization. And the, what will happen? Uh, I mean, the, what will be the uh, response of this organization? It's a terrorist organization, and their uh, response uh, could be very. Uh, uh, dangerous for Turkey, I think. And the, uh, another threat is uh, the possibility of Syria, uh, serialization of Turkey. This is the popular debate uh, in uh, these days. Uh, Turkey's af afraid is uh, becoming uh, a country like Syria because all the dynamics uh, triggered uh, a civil war in Syria and in Iraq. Uh, 
uh, exist in Turkey too. I mean, in Turkey, there are Kurds, Turks, and the Alevis, Sunnis, and the, uh, there is a big tension between these social, ethnic, and the religious uh, groups. And another uh, tension is, uh, is um, in the political side, uh, increasing. I mean, the, thanks to Erdogan's policies, uh, political parties uh, <coughs> uh, political parties criticizing uh, so dangerously each other and it affects the uh, social uh, peace and political peace in Turkey and the uh, Kurdish militants in Syria you know fighting against ISIS militants uh, they kill and the ISIS kills uh, their militants uh, and the, 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 there is a close cooperation between Turkey's PKK terrorist organization and the Syria Kurds. So PKK uh, aims to uh, aims to move uh, the fight in Syria inside Turkey. This is uh, one problem. Another one is ISIS, terrorist organization, uh, wants to move its uh, cause, its uh, fight inside Turkey. So, I mean, the two uh, organizations, terrorist organizations, aims to make Turkey uh, a country like Syria or Iraq. And I'm sure that some uh, states or uh, some uh, states who uh, have problems with Turkey uh, encourage some, uh, I mean, this kind of uh, uh, policies. Uh, if Turkey uh, becomes a part of the Syrian civil war uh, officially, and uh, officially, it will make Turkey a part of the Syria, Iraq, uh, balance of power, and maybe all these uh, fights, all these civil wars, could uh, cover the Turkish territories too. That's the biggest threat. That's why I mean, the, in Turkey, I mean, the people, elites, uh, are alarmed uh, about the Suruç uh, attack in uh, Şanlıurfa and the, uh, the recent PKK uh, attacks all the Southeast Turkey and the Eastern Turkey. I mean, the uh, threat is not the PKK or is not the ISIS alone, but the biggest threat is becoming Syria or becoming uh, the uh, part of the Middle East in all the negative terms. Uh, Mr. Listener, I would like to ask my last question to you. Uh, what of the broken keys file with the the general election results, uh, I think, uh, uh, disrupt uh, not only the AK Party but the PKK too. Uh, in the last uh, elections, HDP, uh, it's a Kurdist party, took more than 13 percent of the uh, votes. It's the first time uh, a Kurdist party, uh, a Kurdist party, took. Uh, seats in t Turkish uh, parliament after the election and the, they joined the election as a party, not uh, as the independent uh, MP candidates. I think uh, PKK is not happy with the situation because PKK was the uh, boss uh, of the Kurdish issue, but now there are uh, 80 uh, MPs. I mean, the, uh, as the representative of the Kurdish uh, issue. Uh, so I think the PKK wants to change the situation and uh, they wanted to, uh, to teach the HDP who is boss, who is not. That's the first side, uh, I mean, the, uh, of the problem. Another uh, side uh, is the uh, AK, uh, AKP, I mean, the AK Party the governing party in Turkey. Uh, they lost 
one party government and the, uh, they are forced to coalition government or an early election. And the, who is responsible? Responsible uh, party is the HDP. HDP passed the 10% uh, set and they took 80 uh, MPs and uh, it caused uh, lost of the one uh, single party uh, government for the AK Party. So I mean the PKK and the AK Party uh, both uh, are not happy with the uh, newly emerging uh, Kurdist uh, HDP in the Turkish parliament. I think this is the first cause I mean, for the last uh, events. Uh, and the, another uh, reason uh, is that PKK uh, uh, self is self-confident. Uh, they think that they are uh, powerful uh, powerful enough to convince Turkey uh, by forcing uh, them to do something in the Kurdish issue inside Turkey. Uh, thanks to the, the conflicts in Kurdish, uh, northern Syria, uh, Kurdish regions, PKK thinks that the United States and European powers and the, all the other uh, countries uh, would not be against PKK's uh, new policies in the region. So, I mean, they started to attack uh, Turkish security uh, forces and uh, some civilian uh, investments in the region. And uh, naturally, Turkey responded and uh, <coughs> uh, 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 but the problem here is that uh, of course, all the countries uh, have the right to defend themselves against terrorist organizations. But in Turkish case, Turkey destroyed the çözüm uh, süreci in Turkish uh, solution process for the Kurdish uh, problem. In last more than two years, uh, Turkish government and the Öcalan, imprisoned leader of the PKK, uh, they made negotiations and negotiations and negotiations. And the society supported all these efforts uh, to reach a peace agreement. Uh, but uh, President Erdogan and his party uh, destroyed all the process as if there is no such uh, initiative. They rejected Dolmabahçe Mutabakat Agreement and the, all the negotiations uh, in last years. So uh, some in Turkey argue that uh, Erdogan and the AK Parti tries to get the uh, Turkist or nationalist uh, voice uh, with the uh, uh, anti-PKK and, uh, and the anti-terrorism campaign. I mean, they argue that uh, the real reason behind the, all these uh, attacks against terrorist, uh, terrorist uh, bases in northern Iraq uh, uh, is the domestic consideration instead of the security or the foreign policy considerations. Uh, on the other hand, the AK Party uh, circles uh, and the party people, uh, they say that the PKK uh, broken uh, all the agreements, negotiations, and the uh, secret talks, uh, and they accuse the PKK. I don't know who is right, who is wrong, but uh, it is strange. I mean, the in almost in a night, uh, immediately, Turkey's PKK policies, Turkey's ISIS policies, changed radically. It's really difficult to explain, but in the uh, coming uh, weeks, I'm sure that Turkey's position, uh, I mean, uh, ISIS and the, on ISIS and PKK, will be m much more clear. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you for your time. And You're thank welcome. You for sharing your uh, opinions with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.